Hey, so it's a three year anniversary of the first Bee and Puppy Cat pilot and I'm so excited to get new stuff that I thought I'd do a really quick cosplay of her. Quick. But these are all the materials that you're gonna need. A hat, some white fabric, some thread, a bunch of fabric paint, brushes, 2.5 meters of fabric, a pattern, some white fabric, didn't actually use a red one, didn't use the buttons, the zipper, and a white polo shirt and some tape. And also some brown fur boots, white thigh socks, white acrylic paint and some newspaper. As well as access to a sewing machine and a iron. Alright, so we're going to start off with Bee's hat. And I found this on eBay and I thought it would help because we don't have to make little ears. Basically we're just going to paint the pink on there, brown on the back, remove this. And then using this material we'll make the little bell with wings. Alright. Start off, we're gonna grab some scissors and remove this little thing without damaging the hat too badly. Too easy. Grab your fabric paint palette, just squeeze them on. And there's a seal. Alright. So it's the next day and the hat is thoroughly dry, so we're going to move on to the bell bit. Get some of the fabric, cut it up into a little circle, sew it on here with the blue thread, then paint it with the yellow fabric paint, outline it with the brown one, and then leave it to dry. And for the wings, we're just going to cut them out, put them around here, and then sew around them with the blue thread again. And if you want, you can colour them in. I might, I'm not sure. Because in some shots, it looks blue filled in. And in some shots, it just looks white. So it's up to you. Yeah, let's get started. Alright, so let's grab the cloth, cut it up into a little circle. Try and keep in mind, you're going to have to draw the wings later. So draw it space conspicuous. Conspicuous space. Now we'll just do the wings. If you want to save time, you can just fold it over in half. Alright, now it's time to sew. You see this little bit here? This is what happens when you try and sew a flat object onto a curved surface. So, hopefully we can fix this by just cutting down here. And just push it under. So put this one over the top. Alright, more sewing. Alright, so we're gonna start painting with the little yellow bell. Let's grab your fabric paint, squish them out, and we'll get started. I'll just have to glue that bit down and we should be all good. Cool. Alright, now it's time for the shirt. So basically, this isn't going to be too hard. I'm just going to round the collar here like it is in there. Then I'm going to have two yellow lines. One there, one there. Like on here. Then maybe just one stripe. One each and then two on the back as well. Yeah, let's get started. Now when we do the painting, it's a good idea to get some newspaper and put it in between just so that it doesn't go all the way through. So I'm gonna grab a pencil and draw the lines in. Now I'm gonna tape it off. All 
All right, so we've left it to dry for a little bit and now we're going to iron on. Still got the newspaper underneath in case. And since I don't know what this material is, I'm going to be ironing it at the lower temperature for five to eight minutes, just in case, but it starts burning, I'll stop. So I've done the ironing for it. Now, if you want to do a second coat, it's a good idea to decide before you rip the tape off, but don't worry too much about down here because that's mainly going to be covered by overalls. It's more about up the top. Okay, so the arms are a little trickier. It's uh, harder, obviously, to paint with and tape things down like that. So what I'm going to do is stuff it with an old pillow or a bunch of plastic bags or something like that. And then it doesn't matter if it gets dirty and that'll work. Oh, it should work. We'll see you. So apparently you have to cut out the pattern. That makes a lot more sense. I was just gonna put it underneath and try my best. Cool, let's do that then. Before, after. And rise, because in bees it comes around to the back there. So I've just measured the length of my waist and extended it. You can see the chalk I've drawn in. And that should work, but we'll see. Before, after. Yeah, so we just need to pin everything together and get sewing. Just some advice when pinning the pockets, make sure to check that your hand will actually fit in it comfortably, just so they're actually functional. Okay, so for the envelope, I've folded the fabric two times, once to make the pocket and again to add the top of the envelope. I measured it out to be 23 centimeters across with a margin of one centimeter and 13 centimeters down. You can see these pockets are darker, so we're gonna use some of the fabric paint to darken it just a bit. Just make sure you water it down and do a tester first. While I've gotten the red paint out, I'm also gonna color the white strips for the end of the shorts. the shorts, I'm going to sew it down and then put the white strips which I've sewn together over the top of it to make the little bend. And for this cat sigil I just got some brown fabric paint and painted it on. I did actually attempt to make a Bee and Puppy Cat cosplay a long time ago. As you can see it was a pretty poor attempt. I think I gave up because of the apron, because of how bad it was. And we're all done. I forgot to mention that this outfit is from the episode Food Farmer and you should definitely check out the series. It's all free on YouTube and was created by the fantastic Natasha Allegri and was funded through Kickstarter and now has almost a million dollars towards it. And I'm so excited for more content! You made it all the way to the end. To some final notes. Gum is essential for this outfit. Doesn't matter what kind. But if you watch the episode, you'll know why. And I didn't use any waistbands or anything like that to connect it because I had the zip. I just used the bib and the pants. I didn't use the buttons for this. I painted some acrylic paint onto the top because it was so green, so green. And apart from that, everything went really well. If anyone actually makes this cosplay, send me some pictures, because it's probably going to be better than mine. <laughs> we can learn from my mistakes. And there are a lot of mistakes. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!